There's a quote that I recently read that I wanted to share. Um, I'm just going to, uh, I don't have the quote to read, but I'm just going to, from my memory, say what it said. So it's a book called Mom Enough, and um, the quote basically is kind of like the prayer of the author, or I guess the proclamation um, that to treat like how we should view our, our children. Um, and it goes something like this. It's, it's God's grace that daily I can resist the temptation to treat my kids as an interruption to my will and plan for my life and instead receive them as God's tool and purpose um, to conform me to his image um, in this life. And that's in addition to, um, of course, seeing the amazing purpose that God has for our children, um, for us to mentor and basically disciple our children and pass on the life of Christ that we have, um, the things that God has gifted us in, the worldview um, to our children and, and, and take them along in our journey that God is taking us in and um, show them what, what we are seeing, right? Um, that's kind of like a, a little summary of, of one of the roles that we have as parents and the joys and um, the, the good responsibility God has given us. So this idea has been something that God has been um, showing me that, um, you know, as much as I think, oh yeah, I know that. <laughs> Like, of course, you know, um, but it comes up. We might know that God has a good purpose for um, using the things in our life to grow us, the challenges in our life to refine us, to conform us who are um, followers of Jesus more into his image, which is the amazing things that Galatians talks about in the fruit um, of, of the fruit of the spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, all of those things. So they don't just like, you know, show up wrapped in paper on our doorstep for us to open up and then forever ooze out in life, right? Like, that would be nice. I would love that. Bless you, Faye. But instead, um, they are kind of like the fruit of the spirit are kind of like those little nuggets of gold that are left after, you know, a lifetime of sifting out the sand and the debris and the other things that are not gold, right? Or the analogy of the refiner's fire, right? The fire that burns out all the impurities and what's left is the precious metals, right? <sighs> that is so painful. I I don't like that. I mean, my my experience of going through hardships and, and trials is not, oh, this is just the first response, right? Is not just, oh, this is wonderful. I love having my heart broken. I love having my pride humbled. I love being pushed to my limits, um, in many different ways, right? No, no. The experience in my life is, ah, this is hard. And sometimes I really see myself, right? in my kids, when they, um, are having a, like, you know, an emotional outburst or a frustration or a tantrum, it's like, oh my goodness, <laughs> I am just like you. And it is laughable, but humbling right like ah, <laughs> I'm like that too I need God's grace so much <laughs> if I'm going to help you <laughs> you know like God help me <laughs> to help you so um by God's grace he does refine us mothers us children of the king um through the trials and um, you know, the Bible says, count it all joy when you face trials of various kinds, for you know the testing of your faith 
produces all of these good things, right? Hope, endurance, steadfastness, um, and yet um, we have to live daily in very often less than ideal circumstances, right? Um, and I think that that quote that I didn't really get perfect, but basically um, that has really been, that that really has been kind of a work that God's been doing um, in my life is that whole, like, by God's grace, I will resist the temptation to see my children or if you're not a mom, you can insert to see, um, I guess anything that kind of comes against and kind of rubs you in that way of like, this is not what my plan is. The unexpected things, the things that like our children are kind of a good picture of things that we can't really like control. They're mysterious. They don't do what we want them to. Um, and it is God's grace that helps us to embrace our children and embrace those situations as from the Lord's hand and as a tool to conform us more into his image instead of like, Ooh, you are messing up my plan. I had a really good plan and it was going like this. You want to get out? You can come up here. And yes, come here. Come here. Say hi. Say hi. Say, I want to get out now, mama. Come here. No whining. You want to get out of the car? We're waiting for, for we're waiting for our family to be ready to go. Out of the car. Yes, we will go out of the car in just a minute, okay? Say yes, mommy. Yes, mommy. By God's grace. I will try if I can. So no waiting, baby. <laughs> What are you doing, Faye? Really perfect timing. <laughs> so, those are the thoughts that I wanted to share this morning. Faye. No. Look, Faye. Look. Who's that? Who's that? Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>